Hi guys, this is a quick Microsoft Excel database tutorial how to um, create a, uh, create a Microsoft database using Microsoft Excel and then how to insert a table within that database um, and then uh, we follow on with inserting data into the table that we just created in the database. Um, the data we're going to be passing into the database are these three values here. This is our product ID um, product name, product ID and price. Okay, and I've added a little button on here which will uh, allow us to execute our uh, our function. So, um, I've created the code already because it, uh, it took a little while to do and uh, I wanted to uh, sort of really explain the procedure to you and walk you through the code as opposed to have you watching me typing it. Okay, so the first thing we do is we hit A Alt F11 to get our code editor up and then you can see all the code in the window that I've created for you already. Um, if you look down here at the bottom left of your screen, you've got two little buttons. Okay, one is full mode view, and then one is procedure view. Okay, so full module obviously lists, as you can see here, all of the the full module. Um, when it says full module, if you was to go view and then look at your uh, Project Explorer over here. You see, we've got a module. So all the code that you create in that module, you can view by clicking the full module view. Okay. If you used to add another module in here, you wouldn't see the code unless you've selected the module and then you click full module. This button over on the left, on the other hand, will allow you to show just the individual subroutines within your module. Okay, and it's obviously quite clear, or more clearer, to see the code in this view. So anyway, um, <coughs> first thing we do is we add our module and um, by right clicking insert, insert module and once we've got the module inserted we can start coding. Uh, my first module, uh, first procedure that I wrote in the module was the main and here we just basically wanted to, oh god, we basically wanted to create um, <coughs> the database um, but first we have to check the database exists so that's pretty much what this code does and if it exists it deletes it and then creates a new database um, if it does exist and you choose to uh, not delete it then it'll just go on and it'll try and create the table within the database and insert data um, and if the table exists then um, it'll just go on and insert the data but we'll cover those bits in a minute so first thing we do is we dimension a string which is where we're going to store our path and that's going to hold the path c colon backslash temp test.mdb which is what we're going to call our database okay so that string has been assigned to this string variable okay and then we've created a logic statement if okay and then we've created our own custom function file exists and we pass it the path which is this okay so if the file exists then do this Okay, and this is pop up a message box and say to the user the database already exists. Do you want to delete it? Yes or no. And this bit here adds the buttons to the database. This is the text that um, appears within the database, and then this is the the t uh, sorry the message box, and this is the title of the message box. Okay, um, and when you click a button, um, yes or no, then a integer is returned and that integer will relate to a VB yes or a VB no okay and we want to select see if it's a yes if it is a yes we want to then delete our file okay um, we then go on and we create the database by calling our own custom function uh, incidentally this delete file is a custom function which we'll go through in a minute as is this file exists which we'll go through in a minute as is this create database which we'll go through in a minute okay so once we've created the database we jump out of our if statements and then we try and create the table Okay, if the table doesn't exist, we create it, and if it does exist, then we move on and we don't create it. We just go on and insert data into it, and then that's it, end of code. Okay, so anyway, going back to our custom uh, procedures, file exists, there's a custom procedure written. If you look up here in your procedures window, look for file exists, select it, and you can see the function that we've wrote, written. So we're saying here it's a function, so we want it to return a value, and we're going to get it to return a boolean, which is a true or false. Okay. Um, okay. So we've passed the path along with a file name as one string into our function, and um, this is 
kind of a system procedure um, which does a directory listing um, on this parameter so it's going to do a directory listing on the path so you can back to temp and it's going to be looking for the file um, test.mdb and it's saying basically if it's not e this basically says if not equal to empty i.e. Um, it exists um, then return true okay um, otherwise um, it doesn't exist i.e. this statement would return would be no string would be true and it would return a false so it's basically a yes or no yes it exists no it doesn't exist that's it and then we go back to our main function I think I've got that the right way around uh, suffice to say if the file exists we want to delete it and this will return true for the file existing right so we go back to main file exists then pop up our message box as we've already discussed delete file we'll have a look at that delete file very simple procedure we've written again we pass it the file name um, set attribute path name vb normal kill which is essentially delete the file okay so that's very straightforward go back to our main create database so we look at create database there we go so this is a catalog um, object placeholder this is the uh, connection pointer to the Adobe connection object and then this is a, just a string which is going to hold what we call as the connection string and a connection string is a database type and the source path which is here <coughs> excuse me okay now these are compulsory obviously you can change the path to whatever you like you can change the names of these to whatever you like but these pretty much stay as you see them on the screen here we set our catalog object we say create an adox.catalog object and assign it to our cat which is as you can see up here an object um, and then we um, create within that catalog our connect string essentially what that does is uh, creates the database in a database in this directory okay and then it assigns nothing to the cat basically freeing up memory and then it assigns nothing to the connection string again freeing up memory um, and we're done with the create database by this time the database should be sitting in our hard drive okay so we go back to main what we'll do at this point is we'll put a breakpoint in here and we'll run it and we'll see what happens click okay could not find say <sighs> ten down 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 Oh, that's not very good is it debug okay so um, at the moment it won't create a database because made a little foo par here so we need to put an else create database otherwise we're going to try and create a table in a database that doesn't exist okay so as we said earlier check the database exists if it does prompt the user to delete it if they do delete it it'll go away and it'll create a new database if they don't delete it then it'll still be uh, on the hard drive and we'll hop over all of this code here and go straight into creating the table okay so let's kill that and let's run it let's put a breakpoint here run okay it's run through Let's have a look in our uh, in our temporary directory. There she blows. Look, and if I double click on that, okay, enable content. You'll see there's nothing in there at the moment. Okay, so we'll close that down, minimize that. Okay, the next step is to create the table, and uh, we'll run. We'll run. I'll put another breakpoint here. And we'll run over the create table. So now, if we look in our database. We should have a table. There you go, our table. Open it up. Product name, product ID, price each. Okay, no data in there at the moment. Okay, so we'll close that down again. Go back to our code. Click on end sub. Run to end sub. Have another look at our database. Double click. Double click on our table, and there's the data. Okay, now if we run that again, obviously it's going to come up and tell us database file already exists okay so do we want to delete it yes or no let's say no 
and if we say no then it's going to try and create the table it will fail creating the table because the table already exists but it will insert more data so if we go back to our database now and have a look at our table you'll see we've got two rows in there now look okay and the more times we run this let's go with this breakpoint speed things up a little bit okay click click no click no click no. Okay, go back to our database. Okay, just realized the database window was out of the screen, you couldn't see it, so I'll bring it into the screen and you can see it. And this is Microsoft Access, by the way. Okay, and you can see we've added all these rows to our database. Okay, so fairly brief I know um, and this just basically covers adding data to the database so uh, in another tutorial we will go through um, probably go through this in a bit more detail actually and um, what's going on I mean I know I've gone through it a bit quick but it is late it's two in the morning here so I uh, I really wanted to get this um, up to you uh, as soon as possible if you've got any questions though uh, just uh, ping a text and uh, I'll get back to you straight away cheers bye